so for today's why can i be a catholic video uh we're going to look at the rendering of the scripture that the catholics try to use to prove purgatory now it's not about purgatory it's about the judgment seat of christ and paul is writing that every man's work shall be tried by fire not the man himself it's not about purging the man of sins it's the work he did laid on the foundation of jesus christ uh, so you're already saved. If you're not saved, if you're not in Christ, if you're not born again, you can't do any work on the foundation of Jesus Christ. That foundation is laid at salvation, and then you build on that through the Christian life, and the works go through the fire and are purified, and then you know there's gold, silver, and precious stones in the end, hopefully, uh, for your work, so that you have a reward. The Catholics try to say that this is a, a purgatory situation, that the person is being burned themselves, not their work, as the Bible says, but the person themselves is being burned uh, in order to be purified to get to heaven. And then towards the end of that uh, passage where Paul's writing, he says, if a man, uh, if his work is burnt up, he shall suffer loss, yet he himself uh, is saved. And so I've heard a, uh, a Catholic apologist in a debate one time say, uh, that the reward there is heaven. So you're going through purgatory in order to earn heaven. And the person who was debating said, well, if, uh, if that's the case, this guy, his work was burned up. So he suffers a loss. What's the loss? And he said, heaven? He, he doesn't get to go to heaven. It goes, but in the passage where Paul's writing, it says he saved. He shall suffer loss, yet the man is saved. Uh, so it doesn't deal with salvation. Both of the men there, the one that gets the gold, silver, and precious jewels, and then the one whose work is burnt up and he suffers a loss, both of those men are saved. Both of, both of those men get heaven. One has a reward there for the work he did for Christ. The other one has to be ashamed because he has no reward. He, he uh, was saved, but he didn't do anything for Christ that came out the other end as a, a reward, as gold, silver, precious jewels. So that is dealing with rewards. And as usual, the Catholics have the cart before the horse, um, thinking that you're doing good works to earn your salvation, and, and then you go through purgatory to have the last bit of sin or whatever, that the blood of Jesus wasn't powerful enough to, to take away from you. You go through the fires of purgatory to clean up what Jesus couldn't clean up, and then the reward you get at the end is heaven. No. The rewards have to do, deal with works you get laid on the foundation of Jesus Christ after you've already been saved. So, uh, you know, th these are short videos. You could go on for hours about purgatory. Others have done that, but this is just real quick daily videos on why I cannot be a Catholic. And so today's reason is the erroneous teaching of purgatory due to a misinterpretation of the passage by Roman Catholic uh, scholars, uh, leaders, apologists, whatever you want to call them. They're not interpreting the scripture right. And it's pretty obvious that they're not interpreting that scripture right. So that's why I can't be a Catholic today. And tomorrow there'll be another reason.